Today, we're gonna make flowers change color. Keep watching for our spectacular science experiment. Hi, my name is Justin. Today, I wanna do some experiments with plants. Plants have roots, and when they are drinking water, they get the nutrients. So it goes up the stem and into the flower. So what we're thinking is if we were to put it in this colored water, that it would eventually turn into a red flower. We're gonna do some experiments to show how this works. So the first one is gonna be simple. I just went to the plant nursery today and I got these daisies. So I'm gonna put it in this water and we're gonna see what happens. This is gonna take a few hours. So I'll put this to the side and we'll speed it up. I'm here on Daisy Network, and I'm here to tell you what happened to the daisy. So we cut the stem shorter because then it wouldn't have as far to go up. And then um, I'm actually pretty surprised that it didn't have as much color as I thought it would. And on the back you can see there's more. So that's basically how it turned out. But it can still show how the water from it can turn the flower into different colors. Now, we're gonna get a little more advanced. We're gonna now have two colors. I'm gonna split the stem like this. So now I'll put it in the water and we'll see what happens. I'm back on Daisy Network. So we decided halfway through that we needed more food coloring to water ratio and accidentally they got split. So we had to put them individually in separate containers and I think the blue one turned out pretty nicely but the yellow one's not that good. You can see that the blue dye like really stands out from the other daisy. And the other one, same thing. There's not that much yellow on the back. That's basically how it turned out. Now for the grand finale. We've got the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. We're gonna put this rose into three cups so we split it three ways. Now I'm gonna put one stem in the red, one stem in the yellow, and one stem in the blue. We use the chopstick so that it should stand up. This is gonna take a bit, so we're gonna fast forward it. Pretty cool how like the blue and the yellow up here and then they mixed and then they turned out to be green and then the red and the blue turned out to be like a little bit of purple back here. I think this one really worked because it has three colors coming in. This one had about 20 to 30 food coloring in each of these. We had to put bamboo sticks to um, stand it up. So this one was really amazing. I personally like this one more than I like the other daisies. Those experiments were good, but I think that we can make it better. So we're gonna put like half a dropper of food coloring in, and we're gonna see how it turns out. If we increase the concentration of food coloring and add less water, the results should be more dramatic. So we add the rows and we put them in the pill jars, and we put all the food coloring in, and we were afraid that it was gonna tip. So we attached a straw to it with an elastic, and we were still afraid that it was gonna tip. So we put everything into an old peanut butter jar, so then we were make sure that it was gonna be straight up, and we taped it to the jar, and now we're just gonna see what's gonna happen. Now that is what I call a rainbow rose. That would look really cool if you were to put it in the middle of a table or as a centerpiece. That was a really cool experiment. I hope you learned as much as I learned. I will put some videos up here so then you can watch some more. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.